China says the number of people infected by a mysterious respiratory virus has more than tripled over the weekend. There are now 218 confirmed cases of the new coronavirus. Coronavirus. It's the coronavirus. We've never seen before coronavirus. The deadly coronavirus. The novel coronavirus. And scientists say the virus is getting stronger and is being spread by human-to-human -human contact. I would believe that this Wuhan outbreak um, was caused by animal virus, and then the animal actually carried this virus and spread to human. And what we know is causing pneumonia, and then they don't respond to normal antibiotic treatment, so which is not surprising. Um, but then in terms of mortality, um, SARS killed 10% of the infected individual. A SARS-like virus which has infected hundreds in China has now reached the United States. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have just confirmed the first case of human-to-human -human transmission here in the United States. A 15th case of uh, the coronavirus has been confirmed right here in the United States and the CDC is warning that the virus is likely to impact the world for months to come and even beyond this year. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. There's things that are happening right now that haven't happened in 50 years in this country. Quarantines. States of emergency have now been declared in 19 states. Stay at home. That is the order tonight from four state governors as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. People always say, well, the flu, you know, the flu does this, the flu does that. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. This has a mortality of 10 times that. We now see an extra 5.24 million people filing for unemployment benefits for the first time in the past week. Grim numbers on the U.S. economy. Even expecting bad jobless numbers couldn't prepare us really for just how awful they were. Breaking overnight, a father and son have been charged with murder for the shooting death of an unarmed man, Ahmaud Arbery. Deadly police shooting of Breonna Taylor. Now, moments ago, the chief of police in Minneapolis announced that he had fired four police officers involved in the arrest and subsequent death of a black man in police custody, George Floyd. It has been a painful night of violence and protest in Minneapolis. At this hour, fires are still burning on the south side of Minneapolis after protesters took to the streets to demand justice for George Floyd. The Minneapolis mayor also says he does not understand why the police officer responsible for Floyd's death has not been charged. We're watching it be set right now. We're watching it go up in flames right now. Uh... I just wanted you to hear the sound of people cheering as the third precinct appears to be on fire at this time. We saw no police after the third precinct caught fire. Today, what is incredible that I have never seen covering dozens of protests across my career and across the world, I have never seen police disappear. And I'm talking about the National Guard. Some people are laughing, some people are videotaping. They just threw something on fire, Chris, a firecracker. Yep. Something's on fire. Shit. We are better than this. We're better than this as a city. We are better than this as a country. This is what I gotta say to the, this is what I gotta say to the people who are destroying things. If you really feel like you have to take an opportunity, like if you're going to be an opportunistic, something is wrong with you. If you cannot stand up and fight the good fight and you want to be a cheater and go ahead and take what we're trying to do, something is wrong with you. Because what we're trying to do is stand up for the basic rights of humanity. And that's what we're trying to do. And we're trying to do it in a peaceful way. Who do not want to go through this anymore? Okay? I want to be able to go in a white neighborhood and feel safe. I want to be able, when a cop is driving behind me, I don't have to clinch and be tense, okay? I want to be able just to be free and not have to think about every step I take. Because at the end of the day, being black is a crime. At the end of the day, being born black is a crime to them. And I don't understand why. Because we're all humans. And that's sickening. What are y'all doing? Y'all doing 
for nothing. Because that's not going to bring my brother back at all. I know. He would not want y'all to be doing it. Let's do this another way. Let's stop thinking that our voice don't matter. And boom. I just want to hear this again. What's his name? John What's his name? saw nine large military style vehicles roll through the White House complex uh, going from the south side of the White House complex all the way through on West Executive Drive. I mean, it's just not something that you normally see in the United States of America. It's something that you see in uh, more authoritarian countries. But we cannot allow the righteous cries and peaceful protests to be drowned out by an angry mob. The biggest victims of the rioting are peace-loving citizens in our poorest communities. And as their president, I will fight to keep them safe. I am your president of law and order. Tonight, with flashbang grenades going off and tear gas in the air, the president of the United States, a wannabe wartime president, had what he hoped was his MacArthur moment. He said he'll send active duty military troops into American states and cities to dominate his words, dominate demonstrators in the wake of the police killing of George Floyd. There are more than 3.7 million coronavirus cases in the United States and more than 140,000 Americans dead. There is now a murderous hornet from Asia here. Hurricane Laura is rapidly intensifying unsurvivable storm surge. America creating from one crisis to another crisis, failing to put out one fire while others erupt. For four years, you marched and organized for equality and justice for our lives and for our planet. And then you voted. You chose hope and unity, decency, science, and yes, truth.